Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm here with my close-up goats. They should be kidding soon. I'm just gonna check their ligaments and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna feed some calves. So this is Cupid. Just gonna check and feel. And they're softening, so. And her udder is not really hard, so she won't be having babies in the next 24 hours. And then here we have Maple. So we're gonna see. And I can still feel those ligaments here. I'm just gonna check her udder. And that's still pretty soft, so no babies for Maple in the next 24 hours. And then this is my mom's Nigerian dwarf goat, Ginger. She's a sweetheart, aren't ya? <laughs> you mind if I feel your ligaments? Hmm? And she's still got hers too. And her udder hasn't popped yet, so. No babies for Ginger either. No, that's right. <laughs> So checking for ligaments is something that I'll do like at least once a day, a lot of times twice a day because I'm impatient and I want to know exactly when they're going to kid. But yeah, that's something that I've been doing every day so I've been able to tell that they're slowly changing. But if there's any drastic change, I like to be super familiar with what everybody feels like so that I can really tell like as soon as something changes. And another update on the goats. We disbutted the babies. So they look a little funny right now. Rhea's actually polled, which means she doesn't have horns naturally. Like, she wasn't disbutted as a kid, she just was born without horns. And in goats, when they're polled, they have a 50% chance of passing that on to their kids. And out of all three of her babies, None of them were pulled. <laughs> so we had to disbud all of them. The other two, I just opened the door to let some fresh air in here. They're hiding in their little hidey hole. And you can see that it's been well loved. They've been jumping up and down, running off of it. And they're just super happy to be checking that out. And they like to hide underneath it, which is perfect. And then we have these little dudes and Bella. So here's little Cricket. <laughs> she got her earring the other day. And she's obviously doing pretty good if she's jumping around like that. <laughs> oh, you had your bubble already. So I had a couple of people asking why is Cricket so small? And I've got two theories for it. One is that she was created through artificial semination using sexed semen. This is where the X chromosomes and the Y chromosomes, you know, sperms are sorted out. And most of the time you get it right. It's like 93% accurate or something like that. Don't quote me on that info. Something like that. And sometimes these heifers that are born from sex semen are just smaller. Her mom was also not 100% feeling healthy and that affects a calf in utero. So I think she's just a little bit smaller 
or a lot smaller really for those two reasons. Even though she's that small, she's obviously very happy and doing really well, so. Are you cute, Cricket? <laughs> yeah? Me? So that's these guys fed. They're all officially weaned as of today. This side will be grouped up maybe tomorrow or the next day and then they'll be moved out very soon after that. So I just ran outside real quick to feed the Warbucks, Samurai and Batman. They're outside but they're in a very nice warm little igloo type thing. It's just a plastic dome. It's very wind tight and they snuggle up together in there and also the horses, but holy moly, it's still ridiculously cold outside for the time of year. It's March 23rd. Last night was still minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is not really normal. Uh, yeah, it's not very nice to be outside yet, which is crazy because usually by this time of year it's a little bit warmer, so yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys, it's just, it's another weird year, 2020, 2021, 2022 was kind of okay, but the winter that we've been having this last little bit has just been really strange so I don't know guys somebody upset mother nature and she's making us pay for it and this is my <laughs> goat in a coat he I'm trying to pick up all three of these little nuggets and snuggle them in my coat just because it's nice and cozy and goats like to be warm so we're gonna try and see if, this is Flicka, she came to me right away. She's the most social one out of all three babies. <laughs> so yeah, little goat in a coat. You trying to escape me again, huh? Cutie. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello! Oh, you gonna fall? <laughs> what you doing? My overalls are a little too slippery for that, huh? <laughs> are you being silly? <laughs> I think it's safe to say that um, Flicka is my new buddy. So I'm here with Cowboy. Uh, we're giving each other scratches, I guess. <laughs> but I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little bit all over the place again. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's my hair.